In this tutorial, we go over armature rigging, where we rig our monkey face, Suzanne, to move her ears, scale it up, grow, and do that in a cartoonish way. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Step number one, we'll delete the default cube, press X, then press Shift A, and we're gonna use Suzanne, our favorite monkey, press numpad one for front orthographic view. Let's zoom in and make her a little prettier. Right click, shade smooth, go to the modify properties, add modifiers, and we're gonna add a subdivision surface on level two. And then we're gonna press tab to go into edit mode. And uh, by the way, just so that you are aware, preferences, I have tab for pie menu turned on, just giving you a heads up. It will make your life a lot easier when it comes to animating. Um, once you press tab to go into edit mode and you're in edit mode, press three to be on face select and then select all these faces, but it's not good enough. You need to make sure x-ray is turned on and then select all these faces over here and then press X and delete faces. And just like that, we have Suzanne's head right open. So all we need to do now is add a modifier, add a mirror modifier, press tab to go into object mode and turn off X-ray and there you have it. Now one thing that we have to keep in mind is the order of our modifiers. Currently we're doing a subdivision surface, then we're doing a mirror modifier and it looks a bit clunky at the top here. We should mirror it then subdivide it. So we just put the mirror on the top and now it looks a lot smoother and a lot neater. Right, the next thing we wanna do is while we've got Suzanne selected, we press F2 to rename Suzanne and we're gonna rename Suzanne uh, underscore, um, I guess, I'm just gonna call it object, right? Control A, Control C, just copying that. And then over here, open this up, double click to rename this and make sure it's the same name, Suzanne object. There we go, so that's looking pretty good. The next thing we wanna do is press Shift A and select Armature. And we are going to go, go to the bone settings here, the viewport, ooh, not here, sorry. We're gonna to go to the ob object properties, we're gonna to go to the viewport display and make sure the bone is in front so we can see it wherever it may be. It just makes it a little bit more visible, more useful. And if you like, we can make it wireframe as well, which does help a little bit. Now, the first thing we want to do is press F2, and we're going to call this S-U-Z-A-N-N-E underscore rig. Control A, Control C, paste, and we are going to make sure that the armature is named Suzanne Rig as well. The next step is to select this armature Press tab, go to pose mode, select this over here, and now we're not selecting the armature, we're selecting the bone. But before we do, let's click on the object data properties. We go to the viewport display and make sure we can see the name. You can see it says bone. So we're gonna press F2 and we're gonna rename this bone head. Now it's very important um, naming this, whatever you decide to name it, make sure you know whether you made it case sensitive uppercase or lowercase, whatever. So if you copy me, you'll be fine. Capital H, lowercase E, A, D. All right, the next thing we wanna do is create a, another bone. So we have to press tab to go into edit mode. We're gonna choose the cursor. We're gonna just chuck it somewhere here. And we're gonna press shift A. And then we're gonna select this top piece here. And then we're gonna press G and just bring it here to about there at the end of the ear. Press numpad seven for front orthographic view. Press G and just press numpad one again. That's looking good. Now we select the other part. Uh, sorry, choose that. The other part, which is this. Numpad seven, G, and we can chuck this and put this somewhere here. Numpad one, G, numpad seven, Maybe just make it, yeah, and looking at this, we can probably do a little bit better. Chuck it there. And don't forget to um, rename this bone by selecting the bone and then pressing F2 and calling this 
ear dot alf or left ear and then we can press numpad one however we need to make sure that this uh, this um, bone is the child bone to this parent bone which is the head bone and the way we go about that is let's quickly go over here you need to go to your bone properties with your ear bone ear dot al bone selected go to parent and select the parent bone which would be the head and there you can see the relation which is perfect the next thing you want to do is right click while you're still in edit mode and press symmetrize and just like that we have the ear dot r for right ear bone selected and everything is perfect next thing we want to do is press tab to go into object mode and we're going to select Suzanne for a second, press tab and then go to weight paint. With weight paint selected go to the object data properties and press this three times. Now this is where it's important to remember the case sensitivity of these names. So the first group we're going to call head. Second group we're going to call ear dot al. Third group we're going to call ear dot r and there is one other thing we can do before we actually do a weight paint so let's quickly go back to object mode select the armature press tab go to pose and select this bone over here and if we look at this bone it looks seems a little bit skew so we can press shift n oh sorry we have to go into edit mode tab edit mode shift in and choose you want to recalculate the roll to global pl um, plus z axis and that looks a lot neater and it should automatically do it to this side as well and if you're not sure you can always you can always just select this over here and press shift n and there you go we have it quite nice and neat and now we can go press tab go to object mode select suzanne press tab go to weight paint Start off, click on the head of here. In the object data properties, you created a vertex group called head. Press numpad one for front orthographic view. Click over here. F add. Make sure the strength is 1.0. And you can press F to scale the size of your weight paint. And keep in mind that one side won't really paint anything because that's the mirror modifier. It doesn't really exist. So you can only paint the side where that does exist, which is this side, which will automatically paint the other side. So make sure you paint it all nice, the entire head except for the ears, obviously. And take your time with this, there's no rush. Make sure it's nice and red. So this part of the process for tutorial, I guess I'm wasting some time on this, but uh, can't be helped. Go up here. Here we go. And hopefully you're following along so you're not bored out your mind watching me weight paint this. I'm just clicking and all the way around this ear. Now obviously whatever you do on this side is automatically done to the other side. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Now we're just making sure I didn't miss any spots. Yeah, that's looking good. Rock solid. Okay, cool. Numpad 1. And now all we need to do is select ear.al. And we can paint this ear now. Get it nice and ready. And because we're using that symmetrize function and the other side doesn't really exist, whatever you do here will be, be exactly how the ear.r weight paint distribution will be set. Because it's using the, the vertex group of ear.l for ear.r. Ear there we go. Get this nice and neat. Make sure you're happy with what you've done. I'm quite happy with that. It's looking good. 
and uh, you can make this go slightly over by the ear which will be perfectly fine and the next thing you want to do is select option auto normalize and to select the blur brush and then all you need to do is just tap away to bring it in and blur it out so that the animation vertices you know play well together and I think I'm quite happy with that now that you've done that we can press tab to go into object mode we can select the armature known as Suzanne rig press numpad one actually before we do that let's select Suzanne object and let's just give this beautiful Suzanne an interesting material because we're pretty much done we're just going to demonstrate this now please don't forget to like and subscribe okay cool we'll just use that material alright so now we select the Suzanne rig and we're going to press tab and then we're going to select pose mode and obviously the drop down menus are always here but if you change the settings in the beginning like I showed you to make sure tab for pie menu is selected you should have been able to follow along quite nicely right so the first thing we want to do uh, now we can just keyframe this so we can decide you know what let's use ear owl oh one more thing we can do just to make this even better so you're, it's less uh, intensive on your computer let's go to the uh, Suzanne object modifiers and let's add a armature modifier and with the armature modifier selected choose Suzanne rig and make sure that this Suzanne rig is above the subdivision because there are way more vertices that needs to learn how to animate where you'd rather want to animate it then add the subdivision it just it's a lot faster on the computer doing it this way right now with that selected we should be able to animate so now let's choose Suzanne's rig quickly press tab to go into uh, pose mode for example and let's select ear r ear dot r, r l sorry and let's put we can even put l, um, location rotation I pressed i for to insert a keyframe and I'm going to just use location rotation and scale and then I'm going to press 50 and I'm going to press R I guess uh, minus 90 no that's too much how about 45 no 45 is too much how about 30 okay we'll use 30 click I location rotation scale and uh, I'm probably going to make this 25 because yeah now when I press R I type in 60 I can probably go 90 actually 90 I press I location rotation and scale and we go back to keyframe 1 we can see we've animated the ear effectively which is quite nice and the same applies for the head I mean you can animate a lot here for example we could animate this to be in this position or scale of the ear or whatever it may be there's a lot of fun that you can have with this but anyways I hope you enjoyed if this is your first um, rig exercise I hope you, hope you enjoy this I plan to make more rig based tutorials please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks again for your for your time